What is happening, guys? It's your main man, Matt, from the DFS 5-pack. I am not rocking it solo. I'm with, I'm with my homie, the DFS Patriot. What's going on, bro? What's happening? Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I know I kind of stayed away from DFS yesterday. Had some other family things going on. Hopefully you guys crushed it. How was your Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was good, bro. Uh, you know, family, always uh, you know, nice to see family, but gets to be a little bit much, so... Happy to be on my own today, uh, going to do more family stuff later this evening. But, uh, yeah, everything's good, man. I appreciate spending time with family and seeing friends, et cetera. I assume same for you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, what was I going to say? So just so you guys know, I'm going to just do one NBA video today, continue with the holiday theme, give you the public a little bit more info. For NFL, Patriot and I are going to come back on here in a couple hours and make our members-only video. And then I'll come out with a normal public video for NFL. So, Everyone that's been wondering where the NFL videos are, uh, it's just me right now. So, you know, with the help of, of my buddy over here, so content might be out a little bit later than it than it sometimes has been. But that's okay. We're trying to get the best content out for you guys, and uh, we should have it out early this afternoon at the latest. Yeah, yeah. Good, you know, good, good seven game slate to start us off with NBA, and then you know NFL slate. You know, a little less game, so it was a little more dilated in. So we're good to go. Yeah, I'm excited to talk over the NFL slate. I know the Browns aren't even on it because we got the Sunday night game. But first, we got NBA. Uh, I wish I had taken a page out of your book and not played last night because it just wasn't a great night for me. Um, the Kings-Lakers game went three OTs. And when I saw that, I was like, damn, I, I used all Davion Mitchell and Buddy Heald. Davion Mitchell didn't do anything, though, and that absolutely killed me. So, as I always say, on to today, excited to talk this slate out. Um, got college football on all day, Ohio State, Michigan, and a nice NBA slate. So as soon as you want to bring up DK, we will talk this out. Yes, sir. All right. It should be up now. All right. Sweet. So so seven gamers. So we got Atlanta and New York first off to start. New York 11th in pace of play. And Atlanta is, again, 25th with – see, it's – but the spread is six and a half for Atlanta and two sixteen over under. Atlanta played last night. Uh, mm -hmm. Knicks play last night, or they play the night before? They might have played last night. I, uh, I, I got. I didn't play. Well, they wouldn't. They wouldn't have played the night before because that was Thanksgiving, right? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. So yeah, yeah they played Phoenix okay. last night. They got killed, and the Hawks killed uh, Memphis. So both oh, teams coming Trey, off I mean, last night. Yeah, none of those guys played in I mean, the fourth quarter. Yeah, and what happened with Ja? Is there any update to him? I just heard he's got like a sprained knee. I think or sprained ankle. I can't remember which it was, but he left the game really early. Clay Capella absolutely went ham last night. Did he really? Yeah, in three quarters. Holy sh I mean, the past two games, three out of the last yeah. four games. Woo! Yeah, you're right. Turning back to the it, old. I didn't even realize that. Um, and honestly, just pulling him up, he might be my favorite piece of this game. Uh, there's nothing from this game that like stands out to me as I need to roster. We've seen New York, even with uh, Derek Rose out, kind of just put quickly into that as the backup point guard and still not really increase Kemba's minutes, et cetera. So I don't know. That one might be my favorite overall piece from this game. What about you? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm just looking at his stat line. He's balling right now. Um, I mean, you look at it too. I mean, I mean, consistently over 12 rebounds a game. You know, averaging a double double the last four games. I mean, what what's the, I mean? He's gonna get what Nerlens Noel or Mitchell Robinson? Okay, fine, but like, I, if he's playing the way he is, I mean, he's eating every rebound from what it looks like. I haven't watched a single game. Um, yeah, I haven't watched it either. But that is exactly what it looks like. Um, right, and huge uptick in shot attempts as well. Yeah, you love know? seeing that. And again, that was right. in three quarters yesterday. So I mean, you know, if he had, if it would had happened to be a tight game, he might he might have put up eight, seventy or eighty last night. Yeah, probably now close to 70. Enough, he probably went off because Memphis was so bad. So, right. you know, there's that. There's both sides of the coin. Um, and I will say, like, I know I just talked about I don't really love anyone from the Knicks, but mm -hmm. Quickly would be my guy from the Knicks. So Capella and Quickly are two guys I'm looking at. We got a playoff revenge game here. These teams met in the playoffs last year. I don't know. I'm not, like, going out of my way, you know, I have to lock in Quickly. You could do mm -hmm. worse at 4,300, though. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I was on him when he was 3,800 against the Lakers a couple of nights ago. Did me well, you know, and now, you know, there's no no reason that he wouldn't be. I mean, he's putting shots up, he's distributing the ball, and there's nothing that he can't duplicate in any of those stat lines. So if he gets you 25, 
on four three, you're okay with that. I completely agree. Um, again, not a must for me, but it is a smaller slate, so we're not going to have. Uh, so that's worth noting for sure. I think quickly is a solid look here. Absolutely, yeah. I think those two pieces from the game, and that's probably uh, on to the next. Projection point. sites really like quickly, so awesome. All so, in lines are both really like quickly, uh, and I get that. I mean, I like them too. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, why would? Yeah. So that makes sense to me. I mean, do you have any interest at Herder at forty-five? That's like your boy. Uh, not really. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> He was I don't like think he's, put up 29 the other night. That's yeah, I, think, I don't think he's a bad play. I just don't think he's like a guy. I'd probably rather play quickly. Um, there's other plays on this slate I like more, but I don't think it's a bad play. Yeah, I'm thinking more if you have 45 left, you know, you're guaranteeing minutes and, you know, a shot attempts at least. You could definitely do worse at 4,500. I would rather play quickly, though. Oh, absolutely. 100%. Um, so all right. it's worth playing, if nothing else. Yep. Sweet. All right. Next up is. Brooklyn and Phoenix, uh, we have a – let's check the over-under. So, pace of play, Brooklyn and Phoenix. Phoenix is 9th, Brooklyn is 17th. And cancel that because my phone just did something stupid. And we have uh, – so, the line has it opened up at minus 3 for Brooklyn, and it's gone down to minus 1.5. And, and the, the over-under total has went from 219 to 225. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a really big point differential jump. Yeah, I'm curious if it actually opened at any book at that 219 you're talking about, or if that was just like, a, you know, sometimes when you see these opening lines, it's not like exactly what the line opened at at books. But right. that is a high total either way. Uh, Phoenix coming off a of shellacking of the Knicks last night. Um, my biggest problem with Phoenix is they're healthy and priced affordably. So... Booker was awesome last night. D book had like 35 real points at least, I think, in three quarters. Oh, yeah. So yep. He didn't really have to play. He came in late and like later in the fourth, but first off, he didn't do anything except score. I can't really prioritize him for 8,600. I think this game should be a really good game from a real life perspective. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, not to cut you off. Kemba and Derek Rose and Taj Gibson just got ruled out. Oh, okay. So now I get why like, quickly are. Yeah. Used. So I think you just lock in quickly, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, not to go back. Continue. No, with Kemba out, with Rose, just lock in quickly. I don't even think it's a question anymore. Play him no. long. Mm -hmm. As far as Phoenix goes, probably nothing. As far as Brooklyn goes, probably nothing. Harden and Durant healthy, priced affordable, priced priced accordingly. Excuse me. The mm -hmm. other guys just aren't really in play for me when that's the case. I could see using Aldridge at like fifty three. Right. Or 56, excuse me, but I'm not excited about it. Like, I don't know. I mean. No, but I mean, look at his stat lines. Yeah, he's been really good. And he's starting to play right. more minutes, which is, which is nice to see. So, right. he would be my favorite piece of Brooklyn for sure. I was say, he, he is my favorite piece of Brooklyn. Um, but he draws a tough match against Dayton. You know, that's not that's not no chump inside. Like, Austin, obviously, with Boston, it was Horford. That's nothing. Cleveland, Jared Allen, right? He's pretty deep, in, de like, decent. Orlando, what? Who's that? Wendell Carter and Mo Bamba. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not like scared of Aiden, but he's certainly a better defender than most of those guys you just mentioned. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I don't think Aldridge is a lock for me. I mean, we're going to get to a guy like Wendell Carter in a bit. Mm -hmm. Same he went price. bananas. He went not nuts last night, uh, and he I struggled had... Aldridge over him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, you almost thought he had to after he made those comments that he was saying. Like, you'll, I'll never forget Chicago. You were the place that drafted me. You did everything for me. Of course. He went off. Yeah. He, I mean, he went off starting from the get-go, too. He had 20 DK points in his first run. That's insane. I, like, again, I didn't watch. I heard he was going off just, like, reading through Twitter. But, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. He had, like, eight points, three boards, an assist, and a block in, like, the first three minutes with two <laughs> threes. Jeez. That's aggressive. That's, he went nuts. Um, we'll get there in a bit. As far as, yeah. Um, yeah, man, I, I probably won't get too much of this game. Next is, is yeah. another game that should be a good game. Miami is Chicago. Yep. So Miami, Chicago, you got Chicago and Miami are both lower end. Chicago's 24th in pace of play and Miami is 17th. Um, 
You have a 211 over under, and Miami is a point and a half favorite. Uh, yeah, this game should be a good game here. Um, Chicago rolled Orlando last night. I mean, that was decades a joke. As far as, man, both these teams are healthy and priced accordingly. Like, I know I've said that before, but that's what NBA DFS is. Uh, I'm not that's sure. how I feel, too. Uh, there's Kobe nothing I love White. in this game. He's Kobe fine. White is interesting at 38, but, like, interesting is probably the, the best I can say. Obviously, he went nuts last night, got a lot of blowout run. Right. And he also I, shot 9 of 11, too. I don't think yeah, he's getting I mean, 9 of 11. I can't go back there, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to be spending, you know, big money on the Chicago guys either. No, yeah, I don't think – I mean, this is one of those games for me that's it, – it's a great game to watch from a basketball fan perspective, but for DFS purposes, I don't really see it being anything. I completely agree. So – but we have to uh, – was it this man right here we have to pray for right here? From Anthony Edwards is uh, – Oh, yeah. my God. Someone said this man a prayer. Holy God. Seriously. That was, that was so bad. That, that was, I was like, yeah, I like screamed. I, was, I got a text. I was like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, that was absolutely just ruthless. Uh, RIP gave Vincent, no doubt. Uh huh. Yeah, Insta sub. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really from that game. This is a game for me to watch, not to play DFS for. Yeah, same. All right. Next up is Orlando and Cleveland. Uh, we have Orlando is the 17th, well, type 17th pace of play, and Cleveland is second to last. We have a 205 over under, and Cleveland is nine and a half point favorites. Is Mobley yeah. playing? Uh, is Mobley's playing today? He is? Yeah, he's probable. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, so. so I'm definitely more interested in the Orlando side than the Cleveland side, actually. Uh, especially with Mobley back. Um, you know, I don't know if Cole Anthony plays. But if he's out, I like the same Orlando guys that were in play yesterday. Wendell Carter. Uh, Wendell Carter looks like a must for me here. I mean, yeah, he's he's balling. I mean, I just not last night, but, like, he has just been playing very good ball the past couple games. The biggest problem with, with Orlando is the blowout risk, but – Playing Cleveland here, I'm not overly concerned with it. Um, right. Carter, Suggs was pretty good last night. All these guys lost run because they got absolutely destroyed. And they got so locked. The fact that he put up 48 and when they scored 88 points and he didn't play in the fourth, that's insane. Yeah, exactly. That's an insane window Carter line. I do feel like the dud is coming because he's just not consistent. But at this price point, I like him a lot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think I go right back to. I was say, I go right back to Wagner. Same. Yeah, that's where I think he's just consistent. That's, he's just consistent. He's not going to win you anything crazy, but I mean, he's really not going to. I don't. He's not going to shoot zero for nine again, or one for four like he did. You know, the, those two duds right there. I think he's more consistently a twenty-five point per you know fancy point per game type player, and at forty-five hundred, I think that provides you great value with that. I agree. I think he's a really solid look at forty-five. Um, I can play these guys together. You can play them apart. You know, Wagner, Carter, Suggs would be my three favorite. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like – excuse me, I like all of them. Yeah, yeah, I think that's – I think from my standpoint, that's what that's where I'm at. Sweet. So, I think these guys are definitely in play. Um, mm -hmm. Slate so far where I haven't liked a ton of guys, I definitely like right. some more you know, guys for sure. Is there anyone from Cleveland you like a lot? A lot, no. Same. I mean, I just, yeah, there's nothing. I mean, especially with, you know, Mobley back, too. It just takes away from the big men minutes. Yeah, I mean, Mobley's their best player. So, like, he's the guy I always want to go to. But coming back off the injury, no thanks. And But it just takes away from everyone else, especially when they're mm -hmm. priced for him to be out. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's exactly it. So, once you get a you know normalized price with him back in the rotation, then we can talk. But I think right now they're too, they're too inflated because he's been out. I agree. All right. Moving on. Houston and Charlotte, you have a 226 and a half total. Charlotte is six point favorites. Uh, let's see, we have Houston's the fourth fastest pace of play, and Charlotte is the fifth. So, big old pace up. 
definitely a pace up. I mean, if uh, Houston can keep this game close, I mean, this game is probably the top game on the slate. Now, Houston's god-awful, so I have no confidence that they can keep it close. But, man, there's these teams are actually priced, like, affordably. Because, like, Wood and Kevin Porter, you know, they're right. meeting projections. They're expensive because they get in so many blowouts. If the games are close, these guys are cheap and affordable. They just right. beat the Bulls. I didn't even realize they beat the Bulls. Good win for them. Uh, yeah, that was, like, what was a 13-and-a-half-point dog they were? Yeah, so again, they're probably what like eight point dogs here, I would guess. Uh, they're yeah, nine and a half. Okay, so yeah, nine and a half that makes sense. I mean, Charlotte's gonna roll in this spot a lot, but I also think Houston keeps it competitive enough of the times. Charlotte coming off a, a shellac last night where they destroyed Minnesota. Um, my biggest problem with Charlotte is they got a lot of bodies. This is a great spot for them, so I could see using any of them between LaMelo Ball, Terry Rogier. Miles Bridges, PJ Washington looks like a probably lock at forty four hundred if Plumlee's out again. Yeah, he's he's too he's stupidly cheap. Yeah, no, I will stupid. say he like came he like got his DK points late. He had like three threes late. So yeah, it's worth the, fact even took, the fact that he even took seven threes though is insane. But I also don't think he's going to play massive minutes. Like he played twenty four last night. Uh. I will play him at forty four hundred. There's just no reason he should be that that, that cheap. Um, right, right. It's but I don't think we'll price tags. Ten X here. No, no, I don't Dude, think ten X. But I'm just gonna say Charlotte has a lot of bodies. Ubre, Cody Martin, uh, Jalen McDaniel's. They all played well yesterday off the bench. Yeah, I mean they're they're deep. They're just not great. They're pretty good. They're good. Yeah, don't get me wrong. They're good. I mean, they're probably quite frankly probably better than my Celtics right now. But damn. Yeah, I mean, a guy I didn't even mention is Gordon Hayward. Who is under, like, he, I think he's a perfect fit for that team. I mean, Terry Rosier has been balling lately, too. Um, but Gordon Hayward, he just, he just does a little of everything. Yeah, they do have a lot of bodies, though. Like, it's hard to really pick out a, one guy you like from them. Right, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the problem. But they're such a well-rounded team where they can go nine deep, and, like, it doesn't matter who those nine are. It's going to be LaMelo plus whoever, but, like, it doesn't matter. The other four, it's who's playing the best ball at that time. Oh, completely agreed. Yeah. Um, what about the Houston side? Yeah, I'm interested in Houston here. Christian mm-hmm. Wood, Kevin Porter, Eric mm-hmm. Gordon. Mm-hmm. I am interested in them here. And, you know, just taking the shot that they keep this game competitive, coming off a nice win at home, playing with a little momentum. Mm-hmm. I kind of like Houston here. I do, too. I mean, the other thing is, too, you got to think about. So Charlotte's on a, at the second half of a back-to-back. They were going from Minnesota last night all the way down to Houston. So I get it. They're pros. They're travel, But, like, that's not an easy travel. They were in. They were. They were at home in Charlotte. But same thing. Right. Okay. My fault. So, but like, still, it's traveling halfway across. Definitely. I, I think that's something to take note of, and it's only going to benefit Houston, in, in my opinion, for the sake of keeping it closer. Is Jalen Green out? Oh, for what? Yeah, that's okay. Now I get it. Okay. Except now, for the strain. Okay, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, now I, I really get why Kevin Porter is projected really well. It bumps right. up all the Houston guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, this guy's shooting double-digit shots every time. You know, you have a pace-up matchup, high, high-tempo high game. I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, I mean, he's got a – he's smooth offensively. I definitely think he's a player, assuming you are playing this game under the impression it's going to be close. Right, yeah. I mean, I don't mind – the other guy I don't mind is like a like, – Jason like Tate. Tice. Jay Shante, but I like Daniel Tice. I don't know why tonight. I, I feel like he's, his game's coming. At 3,600, he's got the minutes, you know, that are there. And from being in Boston, I think that he this is the type of game for him, whether it's P.J. Washington on the other side or whomever, that actually benefits him more. Because he, when he played for the Celtics, always those pace-up spots with those games because he loves to run the floor. He's a big hustle guy. I just think yeah, this could be a game. He's a sneaky, it's a sneaky Daniel Tice game, in my opinion. I like that. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be on Christian Wood. I mean, no one's going to be on Tice. Right. But he gets enough minutes, and we've seen him produce before. So, interested. Oh, I will say, though, I don't know how much I can be interested in him, the fact that he did not see the floor due to a DNP CD. Oh. I'll tell you what. This Armani Brooks has been playing well. I know he's coming off. The guard? Yep. Yeah. Maybe not. 
Yeah, he had that one great game against Boston. Uh, no, I don't hate him. Everyone hates well against Boston. No, no, no. Nope. Not a priority for me though. But I can't play Tice now after seeing that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's something to watch. I mean, because I think like, he was getting those twenty to twenty times. Oh Same yeah, he's been balling. Run two now. Yeah, look, I mean, uptick in minutes except last in the game, but like. This kid does everything. Seven assists for a big man? That's crazy. Yeah. Like, that's his game, too. I remember playing him in the preseason. Like, that's his game. He does a little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind him at all. I think you kind of keep an eye on who starts over there with Wood. Yeah, 100%. Whether it's Sagoon or if it's Tice, whoever it is. I mean, it's probably going to be Sagoon, but... Yeah. Yeah, or if they go small. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of pieces from this well, game. I think Jay Sean Tate's super interesting, too. Same. He's getting quite a bit of love, and I get it. Is he? Yeah, he is. I don't know, though. He's, I hate using guys like this when they're getting love. He is. He's projected for 20% ownership. Holy oh, sh- Yeah, maybe I'll stay away. <clears throat> That's like one of those zigs when you zag moves. I agree. Um, just other right. good plays on this slate. I'm with you. Mm-hmm. All right. You ready to move on? Yeah, let's do it. Next on the docket, Dallas and Washington. We have a six and a half point home favorite for being Dallas, 212 total. Uh, Washington is second to last in pace to play, and Dallas is 15th. Yeah, Washington's all of a sudden like a good defensive team, which is mind blowing to me because the past how many years have they been the team that you just want to run in to play everyone against? Yeah, exactly. So. I don't know. I mean, this game just doesn't really scream DFS upside. What about you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think it's fine. I think it's interesting from a from a backup guard role if Brunson's out. Um, where the hell is he? Uh, I don't know how they went. Oh, I, I think Bullock's interesting if if Brunson's out at thirty four hundred. What's up with Brunson? He's questionable going into today. That bullock is so bad, I can't do it. He's terrible. But I'm not playing him. There's not even guys I want to spend up on that I need to play him. Also true. That's the other problem. There's no one. There's really no one to spend I mean, up on. Listen, I mean, 3,400 guy playing 25 minutes. I'm never going to be like that's the worst play in the world because he could walk into 20 K points and you're fine. It's probably not going right. to be the reason you lose. But I just don't think it's needed on this slate. And quite frankly, I'd rather use like Armani Brooks. <laughs> No, for sure. Um, I, I don't, I don't mind being this. Well, oh, I did hear Dinwiddie was supposed to sit today. Really? Yeah. Is that did they they played last night? They did but play why, last night at OKC. But why would he? Is there like injury reason or like rest? Rats. He has. They've been resting him on. Hold on, I'm pulling it up right. Spencer Dinwiddie, unlikely to play Saturday, 13 hours ago. No shit. Yeah, from underdog. So that opens up. It doesn't do that much for me, to be quite honest. No, it doesn't do it. just opens more minutes for, you know, the, the KCPs of the world. If he were a little bit cheaper. I mean, honestly, I don't think he's a bad play at 42. Uh, huh. if you were I like mean, 30, we know what he is. Yeah, exactly. I mean... Especially with Dinwiddie out. I mean, he's shooting a lot. Uh, yeah. I mean, they won that game because Shy missed the last second three. But Washington had had the ball before that. And they yeah. like, their play was a KCP three. So they oh, liked it. Really? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I mean, they're giving him the ball that, that late in the game, yeah? Yeah. I mean, listen, maybe it was like Beal just finding the open guy. But KCP's playing big minutes. Like... 42, I think you could do worse, especially with Dinwiddie unlikely to play. Yeah, yeah, I think it only upticks him in that situation for sure. And also, there just aren't that many guys I like on this slate, and there's only one more game, and it is not an appealing game. It's a rematch from a game we saw last night. Uh, mm-hmm. So there's just not that much I like on this slate. Yeah, this slate is this slate is underwhelming to say the least. Yeah, I could not agree with that anymore. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, all right. I mean, unless there's anyone else from this game you love. I'm, I'm no. fine. I'm on. All right. Next up is 
The Pels in Utah. They so, they won last night. Not the surprise. Yeah, they won by one. Very low scoring game. Um, the, the over under the over under is two fifteen. Utah is twelve and a half point favorites. And New Orleans won last night, ninety eight to ninety seven. Yikes! That line tells me that Utah is absolutely going to destroy them here. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, they're going to murder them. I feel like. But this is kind of like Houston to me. Like, if you think New Orleans plays this game close, Brandon Ingram, I think mm-hmm. some play. Jay Val's in play, Josh Hart's in play. And then the other side, if you think that New Orleans gets rolled, I'd take a look at Guillermo Hernan Gomez, 4,500. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't mind him at all at 4,500. I mean, you know when the guy goes in on the damn floor, he's not giving up the ball and he's going after every damn rebound. Uh, he's, been like, he's been like that no matter where he went. He just he doesn't play any defense, but he gets everything, and he shoots every damn time he touches it. Yeah, agreed. Um, so he's, I wouldn't say high in my short list. I hate the price increase, but especially if, like if you're, if you only want to, if you don't really want to play much from this game, you know, and he like, I could see him being the only guy I'd play, you know? Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, if you think, so if you think, and I, I agree with you in this, the jazz roll tonight, right? Who's the guy that you say is the reason they roll? Probably Mitchell, but he hasn't been great recently. Right. Right. He is not. I think Gobert's. High, way too highly priced for uh, yeah way like him i will say just at their price tags i'm interested in mitchell and ingram ingram finally you know played well last night mm-hmm. i don't think you have to play him but 7800 is a good price for him and 81 is a good price for for uh mitchell so yeah i don't mind Royce O'Neal for a cashy type game me neither at all i mean he's 20 like, plus much every game right and that's what i mean like if you want late exposure i think He's a piece where he'll get his run regardless. He's going to be the last one that comes off in a blowout because he's the youngest kid on the floor. Um, and he'll get you 20 points. And that's you, know, you kind of floor out of 20 and you max out at basically 25. Agreed. I think he's fine. Um, certainly not a priority, uh, but he's fine. This slate is weird. Uh, yeah. It's- there just aren't that many great plays on it. Like it's, There are very few stand-up options that I want to play, which is weird. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Looking like more at Mellow Ball, just because I think I'll have the money. I mean, if, and if you think that game's close, you have a double hot, you know, top two type, top five teams in pace play, yeah. Right, exactly, that's a big if, but I'm with you. Let's do a little building, though. We'll build one each. <laughs> yes, sir, get after it. All right, I'm going to throw in quickly. I think he's just a lock. I mean, you have to. I like, think you, you start with him in every lineup, in my opinion. I also feel like a lot of the offense is going to be run through Julius Randle in a I think he's also in play. I mean, he's always in play, but right. not like, you know, locking him in here. Uh, Wendell Carter throw in. Is Mike Conley out? No, he's in. As of sure? right now. As of right now. The only reason I ask is I'm seeing uh, Clarkson and uh, Ingles projected pretty well. Hold on, let's check. Because if, if Clarkson and Ingles are projected well, that usually means Conley's out. Right. I'm seeing him in. Let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not seeing him out. But, like, that projection-wise makes me believe that here sorry about that any good yeah i mean that projection wise makes me believe that he's going to be out same kind of weird but that line being 13 and a half tells me the, the opposite like i think he contributes to it you know what i mean like there's been no line motion the other way same I, i'm not sure what to make of this uh i'm not going to be surprised at all to see conley or mason just conley out I'm going to build on, like, on the premise that he's in, though, so I'll just, you know, yeah. kind of just get that. Man, I just don't love this slate at all, so <laughs> I'm just going to go, like, lightly. Yeah, all right, throw in LaMelo Ball. Kevin Porter. Christian Wood.
He was still 55 for three spots. Yeah, exactly. I mean, <sighs> PJ Washington. Washington. I need a small so, I mean, we, Alec Burks. Well, small who'd you say? Alec Burks. Alec Burks. And then you have 72, which is Aiton. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can figure it out from here. You know, there's a lot of guys I don't love on this slate, so that's just what it's going to be. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's, you're going to get ugly tonight. That's for damn sure. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, I, I, don't, I think you're, it's a mistake if you like love your lineup. I think that it's right. going to be hard to love your lineup tonight. I'm interested to see how you build. Go at it. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously you're going to start, like I said, we're going to start with quickly because he just makes way too much sense. Quickly, quickly and Carter are where you start in my opinion. Um, and then from there, so again, there's no stud that I love. So I, I don't mind. I, I, I like Beal tonight from a sense of, I, I just, I just like him in this game. I like the pace up spot for him. Um, and then I like Capella, so I'm gonna go Capella there. Beal's more in play for me. I like Capella too. Beal's more in play yeah. for me today than he usually is, just because given the slate. Well, that that's exactly it. Like I don't like I don't really like anything up here. Like Randall's, the, you know, the best option for me in the top five, but he's also 1,100 more than Randall, which is, you know what I mean? I do. I know exactly what you mean. So uh, I'm gonna go Royce at shooting. Uh, small forward, I mean, or power forward, or forward spot, whatever it is. Um, and then from there, who else do I have? Let's see. So it's a it's a it's a crapshoot from here on, in my opinion. One hundred percent. I mean that's and that's the. I mean you're gonna run into these weeks where like, if you like you said, if you if you love what you made, you should probably reassess what you made. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be really hard to love what you made. One hundred percent with you. Right. Um. So then you know I'm gonna throw Kevin Porter in for. The sake of throwing Kevin Porter in. Um, and small forward is just a shit show, too. Um, ugh, like, yeah, Just yuck. Yeah, it's yuck all over. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, ugh. oh, I'll put Wagner there. Okay, that's fine. And then I can go. I can go Booker. I can go Porzingis here. Again, I don't love, but I guess if I Porzingis is too expensive with with uh, Luca in. Yeah, he is, but I feel like that's just what it is on this slate. I mean, right? It's too expensive too, you know. Vooch and I mean, Bam. I'd probably go Booker there for the sake of Brooklyn doesn't really play defense. They do kind of just catches fire. Yeah, been but who, who's gonna, this year though. Yeah, but he's gonna get hardened. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's still Devin Booker. I like him more than the Brooklyn defense, so I have no issues with him here. I'm just not, like, in love with him either. I mean, to be fair, if this lineup, I'm probably playing, you know, a 20th of what I usually play. Yeah, tonight. I'm, that. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm going to be, like, the same way. I might not even – I might just bow out of this league because it sucks. Yeah, it, it, this is piss poor. But, you know, the other thing is, too, guys, someone's got to win the money. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. You know, sometimes when the slate looks bad like this, I love playing slates like this because, like you just said, someone's got to win the money. So, right, right. So for sure. Um, that's all I got. How about you? No, that's it. Um, yeah, no, that's it for me on this NBA loveliness. Yeah, this NBA loveliness. Good way to put it. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you guys as always. This is a public video. Sorry for uh, the lack of enthusiasm on this slate, but that's just what it is today. Don't really love it. Excited to get out here and talk some NFL with you in a little bit. Yes, sir. Yeah, NFL, the bread and butter. Uh, let's yep. get after it. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.